Australia, specifically a kind of coffee called flat white. Okay, uh, our speech can divide it into five parts. Uh, the first one is introduction, and then the, what is flat, uh, white, flat white, develop uh, deployment method of coffee, uh, the preparation of coffee, and the conclusion. Uh, now I want I'd like to do some introduction about flat white. There are many kinds of coffees in the, around the world, such as cappuccino, mocha, and uh, leto. And flat white is one of the most known coffee types around the world, especially in Australia. Now, uh, now uh, I'd like to let many to tell you more about flat white. Okay, so then my main part is uh, in for introduce for you what is flat white. This coffee is start from 1980s in Australia. And the three main uh, characteristics of the flat white is um, that uh, um, the first one is full fat milk is textured to um, fit microform that makes the um, text uh, test of the um, coffee is make um, delicious and the second one is the milk is poured over the coffee and folded through the whole drink that um, makes the coffee um, more better the op appearance make better and the last one is flat white can made by double or single shot of the coffee uh, that uh, because of the reason that it makes uh, um, the picture uh, in the coffee uh, is very beautiful and uh, some uh, and make it uh, varieties. And uh, interestingly, the most different uh, uh, the most difference of the uh, flat white between other coffees such as latte uh, or mocha. Uh, the most difference is about the um, the soap. You, uh, you know, uh, the soap uh, in the mocha or the latte, the um, milk form is uh, rice, but for uh, flat white, the form is flat. So that is the reason why uh, we call that is flat white. And then we will welcome Desi to uh, introduce the this deployment of the co uh, coffee. Okay, let's have a look at this picture, which shows how to make things a uh, different flavor of coffee. Um, it, it is clearly shown that the, um, the indicative and infographic shows uh, the different uh, ingredients and proportion of uh, making coffee, such as uh, the flat white uh, is used uh, for steamed milk and uh, uh, express of with uh, 120 millimeter and 60 millimeter respectively. And then you can see that other kind of coffee such as cappuccino, uh, americano, uh, mocha, and the latte. Uh, you can see the so, uh, American americano is very simple, just use uh, hot water and uh, espresso. But uh, the mocha, uh, uh, the making mocha is, uh, is uh, different from the americano use uh, uh, steam the milk and the form the milk, also the espresso. Uh, interestingly, although the um, um, cappuccino and the latte use the same ingredient, uh, but they have different flavor because the, uh, they have a different proportion of the ingredient. Um, you can see the latte use the more than the, uh, use the uh, uh, form the milk is more than the so if you want to change the different taste flavor of coffee, you can change the uh, ingredient, uh, ingredients and the proportion of ingredients. So let's move on to the, the, um, Sophia to introduce the proportion of ca caffeine. Mm. Well, um, the coffee like flat white used by millions of people every day to improve, increase their uh, wakefulness and improve concentration. But if you take it so much, uh, it can pose some problems such as insomnia. 
stomach ache upset and uh, fast fast her bed. So fast it, what sorry? Fast her bed. Ah oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to curb your coffee consumption, you need to know how much is too much. Uh, as we know, caffeine is the most important component in coffee, uh, which is can, which can relieve or um, which can relieve your how do you say that? Relieve, uh, relieve uh, or prevent your uh, thought, drowsiness, and uh, uh, it can increase one's energy level. But if you, it also, but it also is the, the main reason uh, for um, cause the side effects. So there is a uh, there is a report which is published in Maya Clinic. It says up to 400 milligrams coffee a day appears to be safe for um, most of the healthy healthy adult, but. Uh, up to 500 uh, to 600 kilograms, it might be might be pose, uh, pose some side effects I mentioned before. So, uh, so I'm um, I made a simple comparison between this uh, espresso basic basic co coffee. As we can see, the flat white uh, coffee contain is relatively um, lower than the others. So if you are a person who always rely on coffee to uh, keep going and uh, uh, wake you up, uh, I, I think the black white might be your best choice. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. If you uh, let me know from then, Okay, uh, after telling you all of this before, uh, I'd like to conclusion. Uh, uh, we, oh, we know the characteristics of black white. That is, uh, the black white has special milk form, and uh, the milk found over coffee, a uh, coffee and uh, the special raw material. And now we know the unique preparing method of black white, and then uh, the black white has contains the latest caffeine, so it's healthier than other types of coffee. If you haven't tried black, black white before, so now you can try, have a try. Of, of course, after class. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>